Today is their first day. They've never been out before. Like I said, they're 2017 birds. I don't think they've ever flown. I'm just now trying to get them to come out and do a little bit of flying around. There's still a bunch inside that haven't done anything. Mr. Broken Leg right here. Ever since I've had him, he's had a broken leg. He's broken at the joint. He's been a really good bird. He's really healthy. Some others. Let's see if we can get him to do something. Come on, guys, fly. There's a few on top of the house. A bunch of robins just flew over. There's one in the tree over there. I think I can see him. One on the ground down there. Hanging out. See right there over there. Really nervous about this. I'm hoping that when it comes time to put them all back. They'll all come back, except the tree now. There's our goat, the goat that showed up on a windy day. Temporarily put him in a dog kennel until I can get my fence done. Call for snow all next week. We'll see. I got all my fence material down there. But this is the sky. Like I said, here's some of my birds. The other ones are trying to come out. They don't realize they can come out the front door, do whatever they want to do now. I've never let them out that way. Never let them out before at all. So it's all new. <clears throat> They're pretty used to me. They're not afraid of me. So I don't have to worry about scaring them. I had to put my dog up. He went to run around the yard and bark at them, which I do not need that. Oh, a door shut. Let me get prop this thing up so it stays up. Hello, Mr. Pigeon. Take my ladder. Use that. Like I said, they don't know nothing about it. They don't know nothing about coming out. They don't know nothing about flying. Mr. up there, I think he's got, might be two males or just one male and two females. I know that one is a, definitely a boy. I said I'll get more accustomed to coming out. I just figured today's a really nice day. It's about mid 50s, sun shining, skies are clear. I've been waiting to do this for a while, but something always keeps stopping me from doing it. Anyway, is that one of my birds over there? That's a dove. Get a lot of doves around here, which I like. I like feeding the birds. Come on, fellas. Y'all come out there. Come on. Come on. You don't listen real well. Just the beginning. Anyway, let me show you a couple other things that are going on here. Guess y'all remember this pen. As you can see, you open the door so we can see inside. My biggest baby. This one right here, it's the first one that actually made it. You know, I had an illness go through my coop a while back and I had to treat everybody and I lost my first few babies, which really sucked. Then, got this one. Uh-oh, I was gonna say it should be hatching any time. That's a good sign. Wonder what's going on up there, huh? What's going on up in there? Hatching. Here's all my others. Homers. That's the mama right there to the ones that are hatching up there. I've got this little guy right here. It's my next biggest one. Like I said, two eggs right there, two eggs right there in that nest. And they're starting to lay again in there. You got two in there again. It's my pedigree bird right there, 12 year old. 
I need to come in here and put a band on him before it gets too late. But anyway, let's see what we got up here. It's a good thing about these bowls. Look at that. Two brand new babies. Get your foot this. Two brand new babies. I knew they were supposed to hatch today, tomorrow, or yesterday, but there they are. Can't beat that. What's up, little guys? Well, finally getting something to happen out here, and I'm happy. All right. Well, that's what's going on in here. Y'all can get back to your babies. I got things to do. Then we've got the big loft. Let's go see what's going on in here today. I got some babies supposed to be hatching in here sometime this week also. Hello everybody. There's everybody, everybody. We built all these nice nest boxes for them. They lay on the floor anyway. Can't really do much with them. Let's see now anything. Nobody's hatching yet. There's two white homers, eggs in there. They ain't doing jack. These birds in here. Hmm. One thing about this nest down here is my white homing pigeon, the male, and the fantail in the corner of this here. Yeah, them two. So what a mess that is. I know I should have probably got rid of the eggs in the first place, but I couldn't bring it to myself to do it. I waited so long for somebody to do something in here. If I hurry up and get my cages done, I can separate all these guys out. I just haven't done it yet. Like I said, the weather's been really crappy. It's hard to do anything when it's freezing ass cold outside and there's snow everywhere or raining or windy. It gets around 30 degrees, I don't even come outside. Well, anyway, everybody, that's just an update of what's going on here. Um, let's go take one quick last look at the rollers. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's one up there in that tree. Right about that branch just hanging out. He knows where home is. I mean, hell, everybody's still hanging out on top of the house. A couple more have came out. And there's a couple more over here in this tree over here to my left. The big spruce. I believe it's a spruce tree. And right there on the bottom branch, as a matter of fact. Let's see what we see here. See him right there? Right there on the bottom branch the black ones yeah, right there hey baby girl say hello to the goat hello goat thought she was pregnant still not sure but she blew in with the big windstorm we had a few weeks back and uh we can't find the owner nowhere so i guess we just adopted her like i said there's some babies there's some of my rollers there's some other ones getting ready to come out once they all start coming out and doing their thing, like I said, I'll make another video. This is just a short update. What's been going on here at Hidden Hollow Loft? Shout out to Hydro Dan 053. He's been a lot of help with these rollers. My buddy Ham's Flight Kit Box. He's been a lot of help. Danny's been a lot of help. And Danny P's been a lot of help. These guys are all found on YouTube. If you want some good information, and stuff well you go to them and i'm sure that they can guide you in the right direction anyway for now this is hidden hollow loft signing off y'all have a nice day